It's time now for the Coach Johnny Gullett Show on Cable Channel 10, a presentation of WEBS Radio Sports. Join us this week as we look back at this past Friday night's action with the Calhoun High School Yellow Jackets. The Coach Johnny Gullett Show is being presented this year by Mohawk Industries, Gondolier Pizza Italian Restaurant in the Indian Hill Shopping Center, J.J. Grizzly Sporting Goods on the Richardson Road, West Yellowknife in Dalton, Turner Heating and Air Conditioning on the Malden Road, and Savannah Sports Bar and Grill on Highway 53. Now stay tuned for exciting Calhoun High School Yellow Jacket football with head football coach and athletic director Johnny Gulledge right after these messages. This is Randy Sutherland. You are tuned in to the Johnny Gullard Show. The Calhoun Yellow Jackets Friday night victorious over Southeast Whitfield by a final of 39-6. Yellow Jackets improving to 2-0 in the 1997 campaign. Joining me is some of the uh, Yellow Jacket folks that was uh, played a big role in Friday night's victory. Uh, alongside me is Corey Dixon. Rusty Cantrell, last year's leading tackler, returning now as a junior. Tonight's honorary captain as chosen by his teammates. And also Heath Duke behind me and Eric Pass directly behind me, mainstays of the Yellow Jacket football team. Guys, a big victory for you. Corey, I'm going to address you first. You're watching the Johnny Gullage Show. Coach Gullage, congratulations. Friday night, a big victory over Southeast Whitfield. 39-6 was the final. A game 12 to nothing at the half and then the second half. Calhoun kicked it into overdrive. Well, we, we played Calhoun football the second half, and, you know, it wasn't a pretty game in spots, and, you know, I really got on to the kids at the half and told them we had done a lot of things to put ourselves in this situation to make it a close football game like it was. And the second half, we were going to go out and play Calhoun football, and uh, I really felt like that's what we did. Our kids responded. They, they lined it up and towed it up and got after them, and we ran the football up and down the field. And, you know, I think we finished the night with over 400 yards uh, rushing uh, to 100 yards total offense for Southeast. And, you know, we did the things that we had to do to win the football game. And, you know, there's a lot of things I didn't like. I didn't like the penalties that we had, and we've got to eliminate those. But, you know, we ran the football extremely well in the second half, and we got to continue doing that to be a competitive football team against some of these teams that we've got to play in the second part of the season. I think, you know, we geared ourselves toward them running the option, and when they didn't run the option, it, was, it takes us a little while to adjust. Uh, good play there out of Brent Davis, our nose guard, and Corey Dixon, and Gerard Aker. Big play early, big play, good play out of Hunt Hammond. Uh, strong safety, come up, tip the football away, and Rusty Cantrell on the spot and making the interception. Pass intended for Neil Devine. Kellen takes over first and 10. And here we go. The first time he touches the football, 43-yard oh, touchdown dash. Great block downfield, and hey, you know, Justin can do that. Justin's a great football player that can set things up inside and bounce it outside. And, uh, you know, we were really worried about his banged up ribs. And, you know, of course, he says the best way to protect them is don't let anybody hit you and uh, nobody hit him. Again, Coach, a hard count, a hard set on the PAT, so you opt to go for the two-point try. Well, these are things that we need to work on ourselves too, uh, you know. We're going to have them. We've got to be able to use them and just slightly off offline there. 